Hi everyone, my name is Vitor, I'm the project coordinator of Green Power Iberia, and over the next few weeks I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on technical drawings, part design and assembly with Solid Edge 2021. If you have any questions about this video or any future tutorial, please post them on the Green Power Iberia community page. So first things first, you need to download the software. Click on the link that was posted on the description of this video and you'll reach this page. You just need to fill the form on the right hand side, read and accept the end user license and export agreements and download the software. After the download is complete, you just need to go to the downloads folder, double click on the downloaded file and this window will appear. Accept the terms in the license agreement, select the modeling standard or the unit system of your country, the install directory and then click install. After this, you're good to go. You just need to go to the desktop, double click on the Solid Edge 2021 icon and wait for the program to load. But the first time you load the program, you might see a window like this. You just need to click OK and then you probably see this window. This is just for you to set the user interface and the balanced one will be probably the best. Now you're all set up, you have Solid Edge up and running and you can start sketching and designing your own parts. But for this first video, I will explain how to get the F24 kit car onto the program. So now you can click on the open shortcut or click on the solid edge icon and then open. Go to the folder in which you've placed the kit car assembly, select the assembly option, select the file and click open. Now let's get through the basics. If you click and hold the middle mouse button and drag the mouse, you can see an orbital view of the car. If you come up here to the top left and select the first line, right click on it, you can collapse the tree of features. On the bottom right, you can see a little cube with all the different perspectives you can see on the car. So if you click one of them, you can see the one you've selected. You can also cycle through the orbital view with the arrow keys on the keyboard. You can scroll the middle mouse button to zoom out or zoom in. If you press and hold shift, click the middle mouse button and drag the mouse, you can also pan the view of the car. And you can also zoom in or zoom out by pressing control, clicking the middle mouse button and dragging the mouse. If you want to see the features again, you can go up here, right click on this first line and select expand. One of the first things you might want to do is take some measurements of the car. For example, you'll need to shape the 200 mm foam nose of the car so you might want to check the dimensions of the frontal plate. To do that, you right-click on it, select the frontal plate, and then select Open. And now you can see the 3D view of it, but you probably want to print out some technical drawings. To do that, you click on the little arrow on the side of the New button, and select Drawing of Active Model. Click OK, and now you have a 2D frontal view of the part. You can click to place this perspective and drag the mouse to the side to place the side one. When you're finished placing the views, press the escape button. But you'll see on the bottom right that this is an A2 sheet. To change this, you need to go to the application button, select settings and then sheet setup. You'll need to change the background to an A4 sheet and the size to an A4 wide. Save the defaults and then click OK. But now you see that the drawing is a bit too big for the sheet itself. So you'll need to adjust the scale drag the drawings to the inside of the sheet and then zoom in. If you want to adjust the scale to a value that's not in this drop down menu, you can type it in here, for example, 0 0.33. Now let's play some dimensions. You go up here to smart dimension, click on the edge you want to see the length of, and then click to place the dimension on the sheet. You do the same to this bottom one, and if you want to see the distance between those two edges, you can click on both of them, and Solid Edge will automatically calculate the distance between the pair of them. When you're finished placing the dimensions, press the Escape button. And if you find that the font is a bit too small, you can always change it by clicking on a certain dimension and adjusting the font here. If you want to do some changes on the background of the sheet itself, you can go to View, Background, and then select the A4 sheet on the bottom. You can zoom in and, for example, double click on the title square and then type frontal plate. To 
save the drawing, you go up here, click this little arrow, select Save As, select the folder and the name, and you can now select the file type. If you save it as draft, you can edit it later in Solid Edge, and when you're finished, you can save it as PDF to print it afterwards. This concludes this Solid Edge 2021 introductory video. Feel free during the next few days to explore the software, and next week we'll be posting another tutorial, this time on sketching. Thank you, and till next time.